Hello, <clears throat> and uh, thanks for joining me. Um, I haven't uh, been posting much about uh, healing and self-healing lately, so um, lots, I mean, yoga is pretty self-healing if you're doing it, <laughs> but I'd like to talk more about um, just healing yourself and all the, all the potential of that, because um, there's a lot you can do uh, without actually having um, herbs and uh, homeopathics on hand. The capacity we have to heal is actually quite uh, like unbelievable, really, for most people. <laughs> like actually, literally unbelievable, because the work I do is it's only when you experience it that you know there's something definitely going on. Um, and when I talk about the work I do, I'm referring to the medical intuitive healing and energy healing, spiritual therapy, all that. It's very intense sometimes and quite um, profound when the healings happen. And what it's referring to when I say this, it's referring to like when there's a physical symptom and it seems as if there's there's no real reason, nothing's helping, not even natural therapy is helping. And if you get to the root of it and you do an energy release and a like um, sending forgiveness to the root of it or bringing the lesson to the root of it, meaning wherever it started and you start to shift even that younger version of you to see truth. It's, it's hard to really explain it unless you do it. But what I'm saying is, for example, let me give an example. Um, I don't know, it could be uh, a stomach problem. And the more you tune in, the more you can do this yourself. But when I'm with a client, I can tune in and I'll detect that a specific symptom may have uh, a root from like 20 years ago. And usually that exact time was a very significant, stressful period of time. And when you dive into that and you start to pick it out and see how that started to be um, imprinted into the body, like as a held stress, it then becomes a toxin and it starts to manifest as a physical toxin. So once you start to understand the connections, you begin to like the, all the first thing is the awareness bringing it to the surface and realizing that direct connection to this specific time then you can start to release it out of your system uh, it requires sometimes for some people it does require some extra healing uh, energy work uh, through clearing uh, through hypnotherapy you'd want to call it reiki whatever it is but the capacity we have is very significant it's not it's 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 not a joke <laughs> it's actually real the the way that symptoms can just disappear very quickly and um the other part is uh that i want to talk about is um external toxins now these things yes you can take certain things to help release them from your system there is also the capacity that we have as uh, high vibrational beings. We are not just this physical body. What we can do to release physical toxins is, is like magic, okay? It is something that people have done, for example, even with cancer. You know, you can by the power of your intention, by the power of your uh, energy healing within yourself, you can release 
a lot of stuff. And another way that I've seen it done related is body talk. Body talk's a really cool way. It's another modality I use to re-establish re, uh, re harmony and balance within the body. And once you can um, kind of re-establish all these connections, the body just starts dumping toxicity and it might be through the sweat it might be through the bowels it might be usually it's through the bowels for the most part most part and healings can happen very significantly um so uh maybe in another video i will demonstrate body talk and what what kind of connections can be made it, it's basically it's based on quantum physics quantum healing qu it's all energy and it's it's connecting different parts of your body to, for example, an emotion, to a part of the body, to a specific trauma, to a specific chemical, to a specific hormone. And once that's brought to the surface, you do specific techniques to help and clear it from your system. So there's many ways to clear and heal, detoxify. You don't need necessarily herbs. You don't need substances. You do it through, I'm going to call it magic, okay? But it's not a magic like a, a magician on stage. This is a different level. This is, this is something that, as humans, we have ingrained in us this intuitive capacity to self-heal, and to help others heal. So this is, I'm going to end the video this, this way, and then I will continue on with other, other videos just to give examples of how this actually works. Okay, thanks for listening. See you soon.